are having various or many um, languages. We have 13 national languages and the medium of communication is mostly English. What I love about Namibia is our diversity. I love that we are a different people, that we have so many different tribes and um, we have such a rich history as well that I feel like we don't learn as much but I feel like the history is so rich and we can learn from it and the diversity. Whenever I go to a new country, you know what, I always have to educate myself and also be able to educate you. But before we go to the street of Namibia, all I need to know is the history of the country in a brief. As you all know that Namibia has a very bitter history and we are still healing from the wounds of colonialism. Uh, so Namibia was a German colony uh, before it was uh, transferred to the uh, colonial apartheid system of South Africa to prepare Namibia for its independence. So we are standing now at the National uh, Museum uh, where you have uh, the history of colonialism and resistance by the people. So as, as you can see here, uh, there is a, a picture of uh, German soldiers hanging the uh, Nama and Herero, what we call the Nama Herero genocide. So this happened in 1904 to 1908. Nama and Hereros were uh, forced to move out of their land, to lose their grazing land because the Germans wanted their land. And the people resisted, so the Germans poisoned their water, they, the order was given to slaughter every woman, children and kids. And uh, some, some people were even, they fled to Botswana and some of them are still living in Botswana today. So this is uh, a story that the world doesn't know about Namibia and uh, uh, negotiations are still going on for this genocide. It's now recognized by the German government, but uh, little has been done really to reconcile and really make it out there that this is what happened in Namibia before independence. It has taken nearly six years of talks, but today Germany is for the first time acknowledging that it committed genocide during its colonial rule in what is now Namibia in southern Africa. German troops massacred tens of thousands of Herero and Nama people between 1904 and 1908. Now, more than 100 years later, it has reached a deal with the government of Namibia on how to atone for the atrocities My brother, tell me something about Namibia. Namibia is the land of the brave. <laughs> Namibia is a very beautiful country. Uh, it's a land of the mountains, very peaceful people and a loving nation. We are a very small population of about 2.8 million people. Uh, it's a land with a very vast, we have a vast land. Uh, we have a, one of the nice uh, wildlife. Uh, I don't even know why people are not coming to Namibia during Corona. Because if you want to is I isolate yourself and then you want to enjoy Corona, come to Namibia. Because here you have all the land to yourself. And <laughs> you'll be in the world. Just you and the animals. Yeah. Especially people in Europe, people in America, people in China, people in the world. Come to Namibia. Free land, come to the loving uh, nation. Yeah, come to the beautiful world, man. Hey, welcome to Vinduk, Namibia. This is the capital city of uh, Namibia. Uh, one of the most beautiful countries in Africa. And we are standing right in front of the Independence Avenue, one of the longest avenue in the city and one of the most uh, center of power and uh, where you find most of landscapes of, of power in Vinduk are in this avenue. So you find like the main banks are here, uh, the headquarters of the main companies are also here. There's also a museum and uh, tourists also, this is where they kind of like walk through. And there's also a park, uh, one of the biggest park in the city where people really just sit and relax. And uh, this is also where the first building that was built uh, uh, in, um, in Vinduk after independence, it's called the Sanlam Center. It's there where also you find their embassies of countries like Germany. I've been in Namibia for 10 good days and Namibia has really blown my mind away. Like 
I never knew that this is the kind of beauty that exists in Namibia. I've always wanted to be in Namibia. Namibia has been on my bucket list, but believe me, I think I underestimated Namibia. Like, I really think that this is one of the most underrated countries in Africa. Why is it that people are not talking about how beautiful Namibia is? Wow, can you guys see what I'm seeing? Like, did you ever believe that Namibia would be this beautiful? First impression, I'm gonna tell you that it's a beautiful, empty country. Why am I saying Namibia is empty? As you can see, I'm walking in the street. I can even walk in the middle of the street because no one is here. It's not like no one lives in the country. People live in the country. They have a population of 2.5 million people, but you don't see more people on the street. They've got beautiful desert where nobody lives there. So when you try to, I mean, take a trip to the desert, definitely you're not gonna see anyone. Even in the city center, you still see nobody. Apart from the country being empty, one thing that I love about Namibia is how organized the country is. I keep on telling you people that Namibia is super organized yeah. and they don't believe me. Mm -hmm. See, I'm in the northern part of the country. I'm not in Vinduk, I'm not in the coast, I'm in the north. And even a mall looks like this. Yes, welcome to Ongwe Diva. My name is Sizzles Diaries from YouTube. So Namibia is all well organized from the north to the south to the east. We have the most cleanest cities, cleanest town, villages. The roads are amazing. I just have to say this. I read on the internet that Namibia got the best roads in Africa. I never believed it until I got in here. Believe me, inside the city, they got fantastic road, asphalt. You will never see a single pothole in the city. But I never knew that it cut across the entire country. We've been driving for almost 700 kilometers from Vinduk. We are here in the north. We are on our way to Opo, is it Opo? Yeah, where the Himba people live. And I just have to confirm and cement that Namibia got the best roads in Africa and I wish the entire continent would enumulate Namibia. Infrastructure, I mean just look at these buildings and it's not only the malls, we're going to go to the, to the houses, everything is just well organized and well structured. So Namibia, yes, Namibia is well organized and we are telling you guys to come. Come have fun in Namibia. We are friendly, we speak English. We understand you, we understand you. Come, we are waiting for you. <laughs> Namibia is so organized to the extent that we got arrested by the police for over speeding. And can you believe that they did not ask for bribe, you know? They just gave him gave her a letter like, yo, go to court, this is a fine. So she has to go to court to pay for it. Is this your first time? It's my first time. It's your first time. But they, they didn't ask for bribe? No, they what, what if we bribe them? What are they going to do? They will arrest you. For it's bribing them? Yes. It's hey, hey! Travel and learn. Oh. Wow. I really love the 
Pan-African spirit that I see in the street of Vinduk because here in Vinduk you will see street names like Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, Robert Mugabe, which I think it's incredible. Just let me know, leave a comment. Let me know, do you have Pan-African names like Kwame Nkrumah and the rest in your country? Leave that as a comment. But hey, first impression about this beautiful country, it's one of the cleanest city that I've ever been. I would love to say that this country is the cleanest, but based on what I've seen so far, Kigali still takes the cup. Africa, our land, Africa, our home, Africa, our pride. I mean, I'm in love with Namibia, man, to be honest. You know, I've been here and it looks like a mini Johannesburg, but one thing that I've noticed in here is the flag of Namibia waving so high together with the African Union flag. And you know me, if I see anything, I need to ask, what is the reason behind it? It, is, it, is, it was a conscious and deliberate de decision of our government from day one of independence because there's a saying that has permeated our post-independence democracy there's the saying is namibia is a child of african solidarity from our first president to the second one to the third one now um, i don't know how many countries in africa but i've heard is not all of them that fly the national flag alongside the eu flag and it's at, um, at official events of the state in namibia at the beginning of the program, I might, I might not, not remember the order anymore, but the AU, flag, the AU anthem will play, followed by the Namibian national anthem. And then at the end of the program, the Namibian anthem will start first, followed by the EU anthem. Because we believe we are Africans, while we are Namibians, at the same time we are Africans because these borders are artificial, because our people our people. Anyway, we border with South Africa uh, and Botswana and you have a bit of Zimbabwe also and you have Zambia as I said I was born in Zambia and made in Angola. The northern main northern part of Namibia Namibia borders with Angola. It's Angola? What? <laughs> Where's Angola? <laughs> can we just go there? Uh, can we go to the Angola border? That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you are an Angolan soil. I'm in Angola right now. If anything happens here, you get arrested by the Angolan police and you get taken towards further into Angola. So the people here are Angolan or Namibians? <laughs> they are Namibians but they are on Angola side. Now I understand your post saying that like when the curfew, you just... You just literally move over to this side <laughs> and they can't do anything to you. Whoa, they can't do anything to you no, because you are in Angola. Yeah. So now I have to move to... <laughs> Yeah, so I'm in Namibia now. <laughs> That's so funny. Would you ever believe if I tell you that this is my favorite place in the entire Namibia? because I have been to the north, south, east, and west. And I must confess, whether you like it or not, that this place right here is my favorite place on earth. Yes, welcome to the coast, the most beautiful place in Namibia. Whoa. Yes, where the ocean meets the dunes. Are you kidding me? The ocean meets the dunes in here? Yes. And also not to break about it, we also have the most tallest dunes in the whole world. Wow. The tallest dunes in the entire world exist in the coast of Namibia. So I guess all of you need to agree with me that this place is the most beautiful place in the world. It is. And as you can see, 
see oh okay want to contribute to the beauty of namibia can i hold your hand then i want to tell you guys brothers and sisters this is the reason for me to spend my entire years in namibia so i just want to welcome you all to namibia welcome to namibia